Welcome to Empower to Grow, the podcast. I am your host, Hanan Al Basha, the business doctor. Following our conversations with empowered women who woke up one day and consciously claimed, I am more than enough, I am worthy, I am empowered to grow. And along their empowering journey towards realizing their own potential and their quest for growth, they became a beacon of hope and guidance for others. May you also find your inner power to grow. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Empower to Grow. This is your host, Hanan al So um, today I have a, a bit of an interesting conversation to have because Christine Offner is possibly the youngest I've had on the show so far. So <laughs> that's going to be uh, an exciting conversation from this sense. That does not take away, of course, from the fact that she is an empowering and empowered woman in her own sense. She is a business and mindset coach. Christine, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. And thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. So Christine, I will start with this question. What does empowered to grow mean to you? What does this phrase mean? How does it resonate with you? I love this question. So for me, empowered to grow really means to step into my full potential and live life how I want to do it. Like mm -hmm. despite social norms, despite what anyone is saying, yes. because if I'm like outside of my comfort zone and doing what I truly want, this is where I'm learning and this is where I'm growing. So this is basically what empowered to grow means for me, stepping outside of my comfort zone truly learning and growing in order to fulfill my vision, my purpose, my passions. I love that because that's something <laughs> I always talk about, I advocate for. It's uh, breaking through the societal norms, um, living life from the perspective of internal gratification and fulfillment versus external validation. Yes, so and that is why that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when I was seeing I was going through your material and stuff I'm like yep she's saying all the words that I'm saying so that, that's why it's a good match well I introduce you as my youngest guest because you're 23 years old mm -hmm. um, and yet you have a story would love to know your story please oh yes <laughs> of course <laughs> so uh, let's start there like I grew up in a really small village in Austria which means you know everyone knows everyone the yep. whole gossip thing you know nothing ever happens truly so it was super boring so I had to get outside <laughs> and do something totally different mm -hmm. so I moved to the U.S. once I was done with my um, high school and um, worked there as an au pair and that is where my travel bug really hit me mm -hmm. um, and that is also where I realized I needed to start my own business and work online, like no matter what. Yeah. So I went back, I actually got a nine to five because my next move was to like study abroad because at that point I still thought that studying would do something for me. Um, <laughs> so, well, you're talking to a person who went all the way in the studying, all the way to the doctorate. So, yep, <laughs> it can do some things, but then again, it's yeah. obviously not becoming so much of a necessity right now yeah, in exactly. other aspects of life. Yeah, like it, it taught me stuff, especially soft skills, but about the hard skills, I'm not so sure. But yeah, that's not the topic. So <laughs> that's a whole <laughs> other discussion. So when I was in my nine to five, I hated it so much. Like it was, it was horrible. And that was really the point where I kicked my ass and I was like, there's no other option for me than to start my own business. Like seriously, no other option. Mm -hmm. So I saved up money, I quit my job because I hated it so much, moved abroad again to study. And that is where I started researching different ways to like work online. And I was so desperate for, you know, location independence, flexibility, all of that stuff, doing my own thing, that mm -hmm. I just started something, you know, random, the first thing that I thought, uh, that I found, which was the VA business. I started a VA business tried out so many different services and offerings because once you are in this online business world you realize how many opportunities there are That's so true. i had a bit of shiny object syndrome started mm -hmm. all the different businesses all the different we all do, we all do. <laughs> yeah from va to social media management to your digital business management all of the things but i felt never fulfilled or happy or i don't know i just didn't really 100 percent enjoy what i was doing and so I went back to my vision because I've been working with, you know, vision boards for four or five years now. And I always had coaching on my vision board, but okay. I never truly acted on it. And I was like, 
why the hell? It's, it's, it's on my vision board. Why am I not doing the thing that I want to do? And it was because I had limiting beliefs and mindset blocks because I'm so young. I was like, I'm way too young to coach people and I need a certification and all of that stuff that was holding me back. So I really sat down with myself, kicked my ass, reframed the beliefs and started the coaching business. And now I help others do the same. Now I help other female business entrepreneurs or online business owners to find their direction and their vision, something that is really purposeful and fulfilling for them so that they can change the business their own way in their own unique direction. I love that. Well, <laughs> you said something that has um, uh, resonated a lot with me, and that is the part about I'm too young, whatever limiting belief that, you know, that comes up for us. And um, uh, Dean Graziosi speaks of this. It's like your day 10 could be just, you know, supporting someone on their day one. You don't yeah. have to years and years in. You're just, you've taken a few steps that you can look back and say, hi, I can support you on your first one. I've taken three. And that doesn't necessarily have to mean that you've got all the answers, but you can just support others with some of the answers that you've come across with. Exactly. And especially as a coach, I'm not here to tell someone how, um, how they need to live life and how they, you know, start their business or grow their business. I am here to empower and encourage you to find your own answer and to find your own direction. So I'm only here to guide, serve and help. So it's not like, you know, I'm going to tell you all the things and I'm 23 and I know everything. No, that's not the case. I'm just here to help serve and guide. Yeah. And, and that's the other thing. I mean, there's, there's advisor, there's mentor, there's consultant, there are, there are other titles and there yeah. are other people who specialize in giving you answers or solutions versus supporting you to dig up your own answers and things yeah. that fit you. Okay. Great. So, okay. So my next question is usually, um, knowing where you are right now, what advice would you impart on your 19 year old self? Ooh, that's so interesting. <laughs> Not even that long ago. <laughs> so, yeah, but, that's, but still, yeah. you know that today you're, you could be a different person than yesterday. I mean, exactly. you just asked the, the, the question and when I asked this question, there's about 20 year gap, but yeah, okay, or your no, gap I, still valid. <laughs> I still love the question because I feel like I've changed so much in the past five sure. years you know, living in a small village to being abroad all the time, having my own business, etc. cetera. It, it was only five years, but a lot changed. So yeah. yeah, I would tell my 19 year old self two things I would say. One is you are on the right path, like moving to the US is like the first best thing you have ever done right. <laughs> or you will ever do basically. And two, taking care of yourself, taking rest and really seeing you as your greatest asset is a money-making activity. Doing less doesn't mean that you are not worthy or that you're lazy or do a, that you're not, you know, achieving, that you're not be able to achieve anything. It truly means that you are the greatest asset. And if you don't function well, you can't serve and you can't help people. So you need to put yourself first and really take care of yourself. I'm so happy that you figured that out much earlier on your health <laughs> is your wealth and it took me a good 20 years of professional life and approximately 40 years of living to to come to that conclusion to say uh, hang on a second I need to prioritize me I need to take yeah. care of me um, so I'm happy you're saying that I'm happy to hear you saying that um, at this age and uh, I really hope that that becomes kind of um, the guiding light for you always yeah hopefully I mean I'm still in the process you know I'm trying out different things that work for me and I still have mindset blocks that come up you know sometimes I'm still um putting my value um in equal with my productivity and stuff yeah. so I'm still in the process but at least I'm aware and now I can you know pick and, and switch and change everything that I'm trying to do to match this kind of mindset and, and as much as success is subjective and how you measure success and what your success parameters are, health is the same thing. Yeah. Um, we've been conditioned to understand that a healthy image is this, a healthy weight is that, a healthy lifestyle is this. And yet we get to choose and we get to be subjective even about our health parameters. I mean, yeah. of course, 
or the, ultimately what we want to do is avoid the chronic diseases and the illnesses and the ailments that kind of take away from, from our assets, which is our health. But beyond that, the five o'clock waking up at five o'clock in the morning or having all smoothies or just being vegan or being carnivore, whatever it is, is really listen. You, they don't necessarily have to work for you. You have to stop yeah. and you have to listen to your body and you have to see how your body's reacting to it, what your timelines are, what your day looks like, what other responsibilities and people in your life. So these are things that, thank you, we need to talk about a lot more. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. And I just had a human design reading done on first day and apparently I'm a projector and projector are only designed to work four to six hours per day. And I was like, okay, okay, I need to make some changes. <laughs> Yeah, but it yeah. makes total sense because I don't have as much energy, but I'm always trying to like work as much as possible because in my head, it's still like the harder I work, the harder, the faster I get to exactly. my result, which is so not true. So not true. So, and, and that, that just gives you actually, that puts you into this loop of, mm -hmm. of frustration and it's like, why can't I do more? And I'm not being productive. Yeah. And, and, and it's a, it's a, this vicious cycle that you just can't get out of yeah. versus understanding that you're designed to give the maximum output in this exactly. window and beyond that it's okay you can do other things and you can take care of you and you can you know cater to other joys in life yeah exactly <laughs> okay so this is um the other end of the spectrum now mm -hmm. what would you like your 90 year old self to thank you for today okay um definitely Thank you for going down your own path. Um, thank you for always trying um, to really follow your vision and direction despite of social norms, despite what other people say, despite fear of judgment and all the different mindset blocks. Because you've always done what you wanted to do, you were happy and you lived a life full with joy and happiness and, and purpose and gratitude and mindfulness. and. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you too. <laughs> okay, Christine, you're on a stage and um, you're talking to tens of thousands of women. And the speech is about being empowered to grow. So what would be that lasting message you leave them with? Oh, I love this question. Okay. <laughs> so I would say really hone into the anything is possible for you if you set your mind to it mindset like don't care about social norms and I, I've been saying that for like five times now already but <laughs> don't care about what other people think it is your life and you have to take control of your own life so make sure that you know where you want to go and then just go for it no matter what there are unlimited opportunities and ways of living. There's not only this one social norm timeline that we need to do. There's an unlimited amount of opportunities and ways to live. So go for it, choose the one that feels right for you and go for it. You can do anything you set your mind to. That's true. And as I say, I mean, I keep saying this a lot, business is shifting on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. The way I studied business, the way I worked business 20 years ago when I first started, 25 years ago when I first started, it was it was different. It was a whole yeah. different arena and a whole different um, ways of conducting business. And every day something else is coming up. Like I have to, I say, I have to relearn, unlearn and learn new things on a daily basis. I never thought in, in a thousand years that I'd be conducting my business online or virtually, or that I don't really get social media and I don't <laughs> do the statistics and I need to, you know, hire people to support me with those yeah. things. But, but that is it. And um it is true that it is about having a vision, but also more importantly, understanding that your vision could shift and change as yes. you evolve as well. Yeah, so exactly. It's yeah. not set in stone. You're working towards something and then something yeah. along the way, you're, you shift, you evolve. Yeah, 100%. Something happens and you decide, ah, maybe that's not the right path. Let me take, and it's not a complete, let me go back. It's a detour. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's something that you will utilize whatever you have learned and experienced to this point, moving forth, maybe in a different light. That's yeah. about it. 
yeah, like sometimes you need to go down a certain path to realize that this is not what you're supposed to do or this is not what you actually want to do. And then yeah. you just, you know, pivot, you use whatever you've experienced as a learning experience and use it for your kind of like your next um, thing that you want to try. So and definitely and you as a person, we, we always evolve and, and grow. And so does our business. So that's true. Well, this has been packed with a lot of motivation and a lot of mindset shift. So I love that. Thank you for that, Christine. Um, where can our viewers and listeners find you in virtual space? Uh, on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is my main space. You can find me um, on there. My IG handle is christine.ofna. And I would be happy to connect with all of you if you have any questions. Um, always here to support, serve and guide. So happy to connect. <laughs> I love that. Support, serve and guide. And I think that's a, it's a beautiful mission to be on. And it's a beautiful uh, vision to aspire to. And um, I'm so happy that we got to connect. So thank you for your time and for sharing your energy. Yeah, I'm so happy to. Thank you so much for inviting me. <laughs> thank you, Christine. Well, support, serve and guide. I think that um, if we all embrace it from our personal perspective, I think this could be a mind shifter for a lot of us. Um, it's not about being stuck where you are. It's not about how old, how young, where you are, what you could be doing right now. It's about where you could be going next. Thank you for joining us. As always, I wish you love, abundance, and prosperity. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Empowered to Grow podcast. For further engagement with a tribe of empowered women, join my Facebook group, Empowered to Grow, or visit my website, www.hananulbasha.com. I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, know that empowered you empowers others. Love, abundance, and prosperity to you all.